Welcome to Emi Broker AFL Training by Market Secrets. Algorithmic trading is dominating the world and it is high time the retail traders get started with algorithmic trading. That is the reason behind the launch of this new series by Market Secrets. This series will have short videos which will explain how to use Emi Broker and how to develop your own trading strategy using Emi Broker AFL and how to backtest it before deploying it. So everything will be covered in the form of short videos. In today's episode, we are going to see how to get started with Emi Broker. So the first step is to download and install Emi Broker. You can go to Emi Broker website and you can download any specific version of Emi Broker that you want. Once that is done, install it. So I have already downloaded and installed Emi Broker. So let me open it. So this is how Emi Broker will look like once you install it. So everything will be blank. You won't have any data, any other details. So everything will be empty. So the next step is to import the data. I have Bank Nifty and Nifty one minute data. So I'm going to import that data into Emi Broker now. So for that you need to go to files and you have to go to import wizard. Now you have to go and pick up the files that you need to import. So I'm going to import bank nifty and nifty one minute data for May 2020. So I'm selecting both the files and I'm going to click open. Now I need to click next and I need to specify in which format I'm having the data. So this is where I have the data. So if I open it, you can see I have the symbol name. This is the date which is in some numeric form followed by time, open, high, low and close. So this is how I have the data. So I have to specify the same format here. Symbol name followed by date followed by time and then open high and low and close. So this is how I need to have the data. So time, open, high, low and close. So if you change it uh, or if you specify it incorrectly, it is going to create a lot of problems. So make sure you are providing the right format here. And I'm clicking next and in this particular window, you can choose to save this format, the uh, column format as a template. So I'm going to click this button. I'm going to specify a template name so I'm going to save this template with the name intraday data so if I'm going to import any data in the future I don't have to manually select those columns I can directly use this template and I can import it that is the reason behind performing this particular step and I have to click finish once that is done you can see these two symbol names under the symbol column so for nifty and mag nifty we have uh, imported the data so now you can go to charts and you can plot the price chart so this will give you nifty chart one minute chart so if you want to change uh, to any different time frames you can do it from here so you can you know draw three minute chart five minute chart one day chart anything you want so currently it is one minute i'm changing it to five minutes so this is five minute chart for nifty and if I want a daily chart, I can have a look at here. And likewise, if you want to change to a different symbol, which is Bank Nifty, you can just use this drop down. So these two drop downs are the very important ones. This will change the symbol name and this is used to change the time frame. This is the first step in getting started with Emi Broker. We have created a new Telegram channel, which is dedicated for learning Emi Broker AFL. So if you are interested, you can join that channel. We'll be using that channel to deliver the different data that you need and different set of tools that you need to work with Emi Broker. In addition, any new scripts that we develop will be posted in the channel as well. So feel free to join the channel if you are interested. If you have any issues or queries in installing or importing the data into Emi Broker, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.